Thank you very much, Cal 618 now. And it's a medical topic that many are hesitant to talk about, but it's an important one. We're talking about your bowel movement. This morning on Ask a Specialist, we'll talk about it with Dr. Tracy Murakami, gastroenterologist at the Queens Medical Center. Good morning, Doctor. Morning. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. I got a lot of questions here because, first off, how frequently should you have bowel movement and what can affect how often you go? Yes, so um, you can have a bowel movement three times a day, anywhere from three times a day up to three times a week. And so that sounds pretty yeah. infrequent mm -hmm. uh, to a lot of people, but anything within that range is considered to be normal. Normal. And a lot of things can affect how frequently you have a bowel movement, such as your diet. So diets that are low in fiber, you tend to probably not go as frequently. Um, so the recommended dose of fiber daily is 20 to 30 grams a day of fiber. And so a lot of people take Metamucil or um, you know fiber products that can help uh, people to go. Um, the other thing is with the fiber is drinking enough fluid. So you want to make sure you're getting uh, eight ounces eight times a day are about uh, half a gallon or two liters a day of fluids. And what color should it be? Yes, so stool should be brown, consistently brown. Okay. Um, if stool is black, then that can be concerning for a potential, maybe blood in the stools. Um, also, if stool is red, also another um, warning sign that perhaps there could be blood in the stools. But also certain foods can also um, make stools that color as well. So taking like Pepto-Bismol can turn your stools uh, black, or certain medications like iron can also make your stools look black. Um, eating certain foods like uh, red velvet cake or beets can also also make your stools look red, which can look, uh, you know, pretty alarming. So um, uh, the key thing is consistency. So any change in your stool color for greater than a week or two weeks um, should be uh, assigned to maybe a see your doctor. What if your yeah. stool is white? If your stool is white, then that can mean a potential problem with your um, bile duct and with the liver. And so um, that's also something a clay colored or white stool should prompt a visit to your doctor if it's consistent, if it's been more longer than a week. What does the consistency of it mean? Yeah, so stools uh, should be nicely formed, like you know, like logs uh, is ideal uh, shape. But of course, you know, there's there's many different uh, shapes of stools. But um, consistency, the stool should also sink. Um, if stools float, that can uh, indicate a problem maybe with uh, too much fat in the stools, and that can be a problem maybe with malabsorption. So um, the key thing is consistency, though. So it has to be uh, a change. The greater than two weeks should prompt a visit, uh, you know, to your physician. What if it's pebbles? Uh, if it's pebbles, that means that probably you're not getting enough fiber in your diet. Fiber is kind of like the glue that kind of binds and holds everything together. Um, so, so probably not getting enough fiber. <laughs> so when should you see the doctor? Yes. So if uh, you have severe abdominal pain or if you haven't uh, gone to the bathroom to have a bowel movement in greater than three days, or if um, the consistency or frequency changes for more, last greater than two weeks, um, that could be a sign. Uh, to visit your physician, or if you see blood in, in the stools, again, um, it has to be a pretty consistent change, uh, though. So yeah. always a healthy diet, lots of fiber. And yes, lots, lots of, of fiber, lots of uh, fluids. And lots of fluids. Yes. And you're going to be so every day. Yes. <laughs>